What's going on YouTube? I am the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, the channel where fashion and fragrance collide. I talk about both those things on this channel because to me both those things are equally important. How you smell and how you look. Both of those things help you go a long way to being the best version of yourself every day when you walk outside feeling good, looking good, and smelling good. Man, to me, there's nothing like it. So if you're into fashion and fragrance, I hope you won't mind subscribing to this channel and uh, make sure you enable all notifications by hitting the all button, hitting that bell icon so that way when I upload new content, you get notified. Guys, on today's video, I'm gonna be talking about fragrances so good in my collection, I'll use the entire bottle. Now, for some of you, that may be a lot easier to do than for me because the more fragrances you have, obviously, the more difficult it's gonna be to get through a full bottle. And honestly, while it may be true that I actually may not get through every single last one of these bottles because I have quite a few fragrances in my collection, these are fragrances that I use often. And it is evident by the dent that you'll see in a lot of these bottles. Now, your mileage may vary, your dent, may be different from my dent, what you consider to be a dent. But when you have as many fragrances as I have, it is saying something when you do notice a nice dent in your bottle, especially with the fact that I haven't had a lot of these fragrances for that long. So that's what we're talking about today, man. Fragrances, so good, I'll use the entire bottle. If you wanna see what's on my list, you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into this video today. Guys, if you never tried it, try it one time. Talk about fragrances and drink coffee. I'm telling you, it's something magic about it. Right? <laughs> it's something magic about it. Just do it. It's life changing. Anyway, man, let's go ahead and jump into this list. Now, something you're going to notice and I, that I noticed about these fragrances are... A lot of the fragrances that I reach for more often are, uh, well, they have two things in common. Let's say it that way. They have a fresher scent profile and they have that versatility. Um, I think a lot of these fragrances I would actually call kind of dumb reach fragrances. They get most, they get wear, they get worn most of the time. They get worn more often, I'm saying, than a lot of the other fragrances because these aren't really... I wouldn't say all of these are my favorite fragrances, although I really do like them, obviously, to reach for them so much, even with those other two fragrances I talked about. But they're not even a lot of my, these aren't really my top 10. I don't think anything on here, maybe one, is in my top 10, like top 10 or 20 fragrances in my entire collection. But they're really good, they offer versatility, and I can easily grab these, go, I know I'm gonna smell good, and that has seems to be what the theme is of this list so anyway let's get to the first one this first one is from the house of creed man this is a Ventus cologne and i have a great dent in this bottle tremendous dent for the amount of fragrances that i have in my collection i wear this a lot it's just so good it's so versatile um the freshness of this one you know i love the fact that it gives me uh the original Ventus feel but like i said it's a lot fresher but it's just as versatile, if not more versatile, than the original Creed Aventus, which is my favorite fragrance in the entire world. You know, I, just so you know, uh, and I, this was a trivia question on my live stream, if my favorite fragrance in the world is Aventus. At least the bottle that I have. I don't have to smell the new stuff. That could change, <laughs> you know. But the, the Aventus that I have, it's a four ounce bottle. I think the batch is 17N01. It's, it's freaking amazing. But anyway, this set. Uh, I'm going to use the whole bottle of this. You know, now I have to pace myself a little bit because it's going pretty fast, but I love it. And I'm sure a lot of you love it as well because it is a super versatile fragrance from the House of Creed. This is Avengers Cologne. Now, another fragrance that gets a lot of rotation, a lot of wear for me in my collection from the House of Louis Vuitton, this is called La Mancite. And this is something that I've talked about. I know there's some people out there that I've turned on to this fragrance. I have a nice little dent in here as well because for the same reasons. It's so versatile, man. It smells so freaking amazing. There is no 
wrong time or place to wear this fragrance. You can dress it up. You can definitely dress it down as well. And again, these type fragrances really transcend occasions and seasons. It's just one of those mass appealing scent DNAs that when people smell it, they just like it and it's so easy to wear. You know you can wear it and, you know, regardless of where you're going, most people are going to be like, God, that guy smells really, really good. It gets people's attention. So anyway, another one that has a nice little dent in my collection is from the house of Louis Vuitton. This is called La Masate. All right, guys, another fragrance that I've talked about a lot, so I won't spend a lot of time on it. But my God, this is the most uplifting scent I have in my entire collection. It's from the house of Mizen Sir. You guys know what it is. Ole Jean Jean translation. This is called Ginger Water. Stuff is so good. So good. Oh, man. It puts me in a good mood anytime I just put my nose to it. I don't even have to have it on. You know, and not to mention the fact that I get complimented so many times when I wear this fragrance. It just smells freaking fantastic. If you haven't tried it yet, put your nose on it, man. It's from the house of Mize and Sir, Ode Jean Jean. Now, I haven't had this next fragrance as long, so there's not as much of a dent in it yet, but it's starting to get one. And this is from the house of Electima. This is called Vic Seer. Vic Seer. Guys, Electimus is a house that I've been paying more attention to as of late. <clears throat> Starting to accumulate enough bottles where soon I'm gonna give you guys my top five. I've sampled a lot of these fragrances and I really, really enjoy a lot of their offerings. But this one, I told you guys, this smells a lot like uh, Valiant from Bodicita Victorious. You have that nice orange citrusy opening and then the dry down consists of some florals and really cr a creaminess kind of sandalwood dry down. But, uh, Heavenly, heavenly. And it fits the same criteria as these other fragrances. It's grab and go approved. So check it out. It's from the House of Electimus. Again, this is called Vixir. All right, guys, this next fragrance is from the House of Chanel, and this one is called 1957. 1957, and guys, this thing right here is just, it's clean. It's a clean white floral and white musk fragrance. The main thing that you want to get here is the musk. And it's just, it, it really defies words. This is like easy, clean, and elegant. That's the best way to describe this scent. This is another one that gets a lot of compliments when I put it on. But because it's so easy to wear and it smells so good and so elegant, you know, going to work, this is like turned into one of my favorite work fragrances, man. It's so inoffensive, but smells so good, so in a weird, weird kind of effortless way, so captivating. Uh, and it's, it's kind of simple, but it's so good. It's so good. Definitely gonna be running through this. I probably need to get that big bottle of this, man. It's from the House of Chanel. Again, this is called 1957. All right, guys, this next fragrance is from the House of Ramon Monegal, and this one is called La Isla Blanca. La Isla Blanca. I already have a nice den in here. It's all the way down to here. You know, and I haven't had this fragrance a year yet. So I've only, I've knocked that out in one spring, summer season. So spring and summer coming up again, I pr probably half this bottle is going to be gone by the time we get back around to uh, the fall season next year. It's just good, guys. It has a very tropical feel to it. Very tropical feel. It smells like coconut to me. But it's just it just smells amazing. You got to put your nose on it, man. Uh, this fragrance is a little bit hard to find. It seems like when a, a store or a, a discounter gets this in stock, it does not last long. And that's because it is highly sought after because it is really good. Again, grab and go, approved without a doubt. Check this one out if you can find it. It's from the house of Ramon Monegal. Again, this is called La Isla Blanca. All right, this next fragrance is one that I've sung its praises from the time that it came out in 2020. It's from the house of Yves Saint Laurent, and this is L'Homme Le Parfum. L'Homme Le Parfum. Simply put, man, this is the original L'Homme with a little bit of like Dior Sauvage or something like that in it. Very, 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 very good. Definitely one of those scents that regardless of where you are going or what you are doing or what season it is, you can put this on and you are guaranteed to smell absolutely fantastic. 
nice nice dent in here as well it's all the way down to here you guys can see that so i have a nice dent in here as well and again it's one of those fragrances that if i can't really think of what i want to wear all these fragrances kind of fall into that category i'm usually reaching for one of these because it's just a no-brainer so check it out from the house of you saint laurent this is lone Le parfum all right guys when i talked earlier and said only one of these fragrances are probably in my top 10 you know, I really have to sit down now and go through the collection again to really tell you my top 10 in my entire collection, but this would definitely be in consideration. From the house of Jurjoff, Pico Viadama. Pico Viadama, nice dent in here as well. Again, relative to the amount of fragrances that I have, I know I can throw this on, man, and I'm gonna smell, <laughs> I'm gonna smell great. This thing is breathtaking to me. Uh, honestly, it is florals, and mainly aldehydes. Clean, fresh florals and soapy aldehydes is really what this fragrance is about. And it's just, it's heavenly. Honestly, it's heavenly, I just gotta say it. Um, definitely something that turns heads when you wear it, for sure. It's a big bottle, and it may take me some time, but this is one I'll definitely probably end up using an entire bottle at some point. And I honestly can't say that for a lot of fragrances. Not that they're not good, but again, heavier scent profiles, you just don't wear them as much. Although I may even like some of them more as a fragrance overall, these kind of things are the things that I wear more often. But again, it's from the house of Georgioff. This is Pico Viadam. All right, guys, a designer fragrance on this list, man. And uh, I've knocked out a lot of this bottle and I'm glad I have a backup now. Shout out to my guy, Ryan. Uh, this is from the house of Paco Rabanne. This is One Million Lucky. One Million Lucky, man. This plum hazelnut fragrance right here is one that is sexy enough with the plum and with that kind of hazelnut accord in here, but it, it has enough freshness to it where you can still get a lot of versatility out of it. And again, my God, you talk about compliments. <laughs> this is one that gets the job done. I've knocked out a lot of this bottle. And of course, I am glad now that I can use it more freely. Although I heard it's been discontinued, but I now have one of the big 6.7 ounce bottles, so I'll have it for the rest of my life. But I'm definitely gonna end up running through this particular bottle. I love this fragrance. Um, it's from the house, of course, Paco Rabanne. This is one million lucky. And last, but certainly not least, this fragrance comes from the house of Mason Margiela from the Replica series. This one is called Under the Lemon Trees. Under the Lemon Trees, man. And I wear this fragrance a lot because it is just a soothing fragrance. This fragrance, provides me with a lot of comfort you know there uh, one of the main notes in here is that is a tea note all right and in my experience on my skin uh tea based fragrances or note or fragrances that feature a prominent note of tea kind of gives me a puts me in a relaxing kind of mood so this is good for spring summer but it's also good for when i'm just lounging around uh, the house and just want to be relaxed, man. This is one of the fragrances that I can reach for. And as you guys can see, I reach for it often. What can I say? It's good. So check it out. It's from the house of Mason Margiela, the replica series. Again, this is called Under the Lemon Trees. All right, guys, that's it. That's my time, man. I hope you enjoyed this uh, list today as I gave you uh, 10 fragrances that are so good, I'll end up using the entire bottle. What are some fragrances in your collection that you have that are so good that you feel like you'll end up using the entire bottle if you haven't already? I'd love to hear from you down in the comment section. As always, I sincerely appreciate your time and your attention to these videos. I know you guys don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. Then don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.